It is answer B. The ball falls into area 2, i.e. slower than the ruler. In other words, the ruler falls faster than the ball, which is in free fall. This result seems to contradict a statement by Galileo Galilei that all bodies fall at the same rate in a vacuum. Of course, it is also true here that all bodies fall at the same speed in Earth's gravitational field. In this experiment, however, forces other than gravity occur. If the center of gravity of an inclined ruler falls downward, the upper end of the ruler would also move downwards at the same speed. But then the upper end of the ruler would have to hit the table much later because it has to travel a much longer distance. In our experiment, the lower end of the ruler does not move at all. Therefore, the movement of the ruler cannot be described by the falling movement of its center of gravity alone. You also have to consider the rotational movement of the entire ruler around its lower end. So, part of the energy goes into the rotation of the ruler, part into its falling motion. As a result, the upper end of the ruler moves more slowly at the beginning of the movement than in free fall. Towards the end of the movement, the ruler has an almost horizontal orientation. It moves almost in free fall. In addition, however, it now also rotates due to the built-up rotational energy so that the stuck end of the ruler is almost at rest, while the upper end falls faster than in free fall. In contrast, the glass ball only falls straight down in free fall. The ruler falls away faster underneath it. So, the movements of the two objects do not influence each other. The whole of the ruler comes up slightly next to the vertical fall line of the glass ball so that the ball lands in area 2, i.e. closer to the tape and to the pivot point of the ruler than the whole of the ruler.